One of the weirder claims of modern physics, which I first ran into a few years ago when I was reading about string theory, is that the universe might have more than three spatial dimensions, but the extra ones are curled up and are extremely submicroscopic. I've heard this explained using an analogy of an ant walking along a string. There are two ways the ant can go. The ant can go along the string, or the ant can go around the string. It's just that the around the string dimension is very tightly curled, and the along the string dimension has a much greater spatial extent. Scale that up if your brain can handle it. I know mine has a little difficulty with this concept. The three dimensions we're familiar with are of the back and forth variety, whereas the others, and some scientists believe there may be up to nine others, are of the tiny curled variety. The problem is, those extra dimensions are pretty thoroughly undetectable, which has led some scientists to critique this theory using Wolfgang Pauli's quip that it isn't even wrong. It's unverifiable, which is synonymous to saying it isn't science. But the theorists are still trying like mad to find some indirect way to show that those extra dimensions exist. That question has not been solved yet, but we did have an interesting piece of the puzzle added by a paper that appeared a while back by Robert McNeese of Loyola University and Katie Mack of North Carolina State. And in this paper, Mack and McNeese show that the maximum number of macroscopic dimensions is three. So, sorry fans of A Wrinkle in Time, there's no such thing as a tesseract. The argument by Mack and McNeese, which, although I have a BS in physics, I am not even close to being able to understand, boils down to the fact that the universe is still here. If there were more than three macroscopic spatial dimensions, Mack and McNeese say, then the collision of two cosmic particles could potentially generate a black hole, and this would give rise to a universe with different physical laws than ours has. This universe would then expand like a bubble rising in a lake, its boundaries moving outward at the speed of light and ripping everything apart down to the atomic level as it passes through. Mack put it this way, if you're standing nearby when the bubble starts to expand, you don't see it coming. If it's coming at you from below, your feet stop existing before your mind realizes that. This was one of the concerns about the Large Hadron Collider, since basically what that machine does is to collide particles together at very high energies. Ruth Gregory of Durham University showed that there was a non-zero possibility of such collisions generating a black hole. And of course, this triggered the usual suspects to conjecture that the scientists were trying to destroy the entire universe. Why they would do that when they inhabit said universe is beyond me. In fact, since they would be standing right next to the collider when it happened, they wouldn't even have time to cackle maniacally and rub their hands together before being completely vaporized. Ruth Gregory put it this way, The black holes are quite naughty. They really want to see vacuum decay. It's a very strong process if it can proceed. Mac added, No structures can exist. We'd just blink out of existence. Of course, this hasn't happened, which is good news. Although, all things considered, it wouldn't be a bad way to go. At least it would be over quickly, not to mention spectacular. Here lies Gordon, killed during the formation of a new universe, my epitaph could say. Although, there wouldn't be anybody there to write it, nor anything to write it on. So that's kind of disappointing. Anyhow, what Mack and McNeese showed was that if this was going to happen, it would mean that there had to be a fourth spatial dimension. And since this hasn't happened in 13.8 billion years, it's probably not going to. So, don't cancel your meeting for next week. What Mack and McNeese's argument says is that if there are extra spatial dimensions, they have to be smaller than 1.6 nanometers in diameter, which, for reference, is about three times the size of an average atom. If there were any bigger than that, we would already have been victims of vacuum decay, which is what the expanding universe idea is called. A cheering notion that... Although it's kind of an indication how bad things have gotten when we're not dead yet is the best news I can come up with. So that's our news from the world of science. Particle collisions, expanding black holes, and vacuum decay. Myself, I'm not going to worry about it. If it does happen, it'll be over so fast I won't have time to be upset at my imminent demise, and my loved ones won't be around afterward to care. Plus there's the cheering thought that I'd take Mitch McConnell with me, which makes destroying the entire universe almost seem worth it. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. Our resources are down there, and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.